buy I bought a bunch of yeah, fight these guys. I haven't fought anyone yet, since so I bought them stuff. <coughs> and I bought new weapons for everyone. Yeah. I got this. Have fun with this. Don't get cocky. Oh, he was paralyzed. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I got Did I not buy any, another, like, I thought I bought something new for him. Oh, I guess he has an umbrella now, instead of a, um, a broom. <sighs> um, I guess I'm gonna run back, I'm gonna run down here a little more. Fight these guys. I'm just like, ooh, a biting barker. Safes, like it's all. Yeah, there's safes around town. I don't fucking see this. Oh, should I open it? Yes. Sweet. Carbon like. police baton. Oh, it's way worse. Use this key to open up safes. I should probably keep an eye out for these safes if I find any more keys. Well, so does that like. I'm wondering if it's just like this area or whatever, but like, do I, I thought, do I still have. I have the skeleton key. So. That doesn't, to, to me that just doesn't make sense, you know, that it would be one key for every safe. Yeah, I got this. Take your best shot. Watch this. <coughs> oh, that dude ran behind me. Look at this. That's right. Cool. Get serious. Let's go. Don't get I don't think that's enough to buy anything. Here. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna need some ooh, Magnum bottle. I'm gonna need three thousand for a helmet. I guess I'm gonna try to fight one more fight real quick. A broader jacket would be good for him. 32. I got to. I like how they wait. I really enjoy how they wait outside. Alright, that's time. We'll go back. Oh, those guys are here. Get 
This is the worst. I'm up! Cash, that's pretty good. Yeah, Namba's getting fucked up big time. We'll just save our cash. Go on here to the pawn shop. Yeah, my control there is a little I guess my controller battery is so low, well, man. I kind of want to just keep playing until they die. I want to see how like how much you really get out of them. <coughs> I mean, we've gotten pretty good. My charge and play kit should be this afternoon, so I mean, if I can get through one more one more play without switching them, then I don't gotta worry about the other stuff. No. Gear. Mm. I really don't need stuff that it's equipped, but like those things are equipped, you know. Oh, so we'll only sell stuff that's equipped. Okay, that's fine. Protects the bear from burns. Why is Owen wearing that? That's the real problem. Yeah, look. Yeah, why is no why is no one wearing hey, I guess. Might as well wear hungry. the flame anyway. <coughs> Pro pickpocket and a slasher. Cool. Walking around the town, beating up everyone. Just back. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, come on. Where'd the homeless dude go? That's what I want to know. There was that one thing I was doing with the homeless dude. Hmm? A bronze plate. Hmm? A paper plate. Ten yen. Ten yen. There's a taxi place here. That's what I guess. Hmm? Nothing. Oh, 
Oh, who's this dude? A slugger? Okay. Shout out to me and sportsman like Dude, those guys give you a shit ton of cash. Hell yeah. Nice. I'll take it. matter if you want to work there I can't just invent jobs especially not sunlight castle that's a fancy retirement home with best-in-class staff they wouldn't even post openings through hello work so you're saying you can't just get us jobs there sorry but no damn damn Well, I can't get you directly employed by Slime Castle, but there may be a way as mm -hmm. contractors. Contractors? Fool. Their full-time staff doesn't do a lot of menial jobs. The caretakers are employees, but they go through a temp agency for the rest. It's an agency exclusively for caretakers. Wow. So I can get on that list, I'll be able to get into Sunlight Castle. Not even car tractors are going to get in if they all have zero experience. That rules out Kasuga-kun, of course. Adachi-san, too. Unless you're hiding caretaker work. Man, they're going to hope stuff like that. But Nanda-san, you have potential. Huh? Huh? Me? Why him? Nanda-san, your resume says you're an ex-nurse. That's the kind of experience they look for. You could get into Sunlight Castle pretty easily. <laughs> nice. Adachi-san used to be with the police. Then how about this? Hey, you got an idea? If you could leverage your police experience, a security guard post might be a shoe in I can introduce you to the company that runs Sunlight Castle Security. Yeah. Yeah. Security's right up my alley. I got this. Wait a sec. I'm the only one left in the cold. There's got to be an agency for me too, right? Mm. Kasuga-san... You're an ex Yakuza, so, hmm. Yakuza and Tyrant Homes, well. Oh. What about this? <laughs> uh oh. Hey, Sunny. Don't recall seeing you around. Are you new? Yeah, I'm from a temp agency. Name's Nanba. How nice to have a new doctor. Wonderful. Actually, I'm a nursing assistant. And just temporarily. You say you do physical therapy? <laughs> Sounds fun. Um, listen, Granny. Let me ask you. Well, there's a guy living here named Lakota. You know him by any chance? He's pretty old. Has a daughter. Oh. What time are we having breakfast? Um, uh, well, it's already past noon. Oh, here is fine. Thank you, officer. Hey, did you find anything out? Nope. I haven't seen any guys who were likely to be Nanoha's dad. I gotta say, the care in this place actually seems pretty damn good. There's plenty of staff. Their medical equipment is top-notch. Uh, they've got a security system, and guards, too. They ain't skimping on safety. How many times do I have to tell you? I want these toilets so clean you'd let your mother drink out of them! Put some 
elbow grease into it, for goodness sake! Stop slacking off! <coughs> ah, good. It's been a while. Why hasn't he changed his haircut? Toilet duty. <laughs> Why do you think? Well, you're not qualified to do anything else. Did you find her dad? Nah, not even the lead. You find anything? The only thing I've seen all morning is toilets. That woman's a slave driver. Maybe her dad's in a special room for the excellent course residents. Oh yeah, that crazy expensive program. Doubtful. I found out more about that program. It has super strict requirements. I don't think she would have met them. For example, you have to do a bunch of interviews to qualify. Interviews? Yeah, I don't know exactly what they ask, but... I bet it's all about your family and social standing. Now, rumor has it, program rumor only lets it. in big shots from the financial sector. So, even if she had the money, I don't think she would pass the interviews. Still, none of us have seen this special room yet, right? <sighs> no, because how are we supposed to do that? Well, obviously, they're gonna have their best security on the excellent course residents. I heard only full-time staff are allowed to work with that clientele. But where the hell are those residents kept? Top floor. And to get up there, you need one of the full-timers keycards. Hey! Quit chatting and get back to work! Yes, ma'am. Right away. Boom. Good work. Bet you didn't know toilet cleaning could take up a whole day, did you? So many toilets. That's what you need in a place this big. You're gonna have to pick up the pace tomorrow. Seven four, man. That's it. Lucky number seven. We still need to do the top floor, don't we? That floor is for excellent course residents. It's uh off limits to us contractors. Damn it, I, I think I forgot something in the bathroom. Mind if I go get it? Fine, but get it together. You're a mess. I'm so sorry. Uh, you can go on ahead and I'll catch up, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, just hurry up. Yo. Evacuation route. Just take the stairs up. It's not key carded. I would think it would be key carded. <laughs> As we find out that the excellent areas like where they just murder them. Yeah, it's definitely a murdering them. It'll be over soon. Good night now. It's definitely like uh I forget what it's called, but it's like the where they kill them. Hey guys. Okay. <coughs> Yo, Kasuga, you're late. Putting some extra polish on his bathrooms. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Wait, where's Namba? Still working, I guess. Wasn't expecting you guys to take this job so seriously. That said, we gotta find some info or proof pretty soon. 
Yeah, I saw something weird at the excellent room, though. <gasps> huh? You got up there? What was weird? Hey, guys. I'm so tired I could just die right here. Well, Kasuga was just saying he caught on to something suspicious. Can you put off dying for a few more minutes? Hold on. I can't. I know I'm being a baby, but can we save it until tomorrow? I'm tired as fuck, and they want me to come in early tomorrow morning. This old woman just passed away, so I have to do all this crazy stuff. What was that? <laughs> what? What is it? What Was that the woman with purple hair? Yeah. How did you know? It's crazy to even think this, but it has to be that woman was killed in the excellent room. <laughs> the excellent room? You sure? I didn't see it, but that has to be it. Why would they kill their own customers? A death just means no more income, doesn't it? No. Not necessarily. You could scam their pension payments, for instance. Hmm? Pension? Yeah, someone old dies, but you don't report their death and just keep going on with your life. You hide the body somewhere, and the dead person's pension and medical insurance payments keep rolling in. You're saying the institution could be stealing money? Can they do that? Yo. Look at this. I checked it out. There's a safe in the back of the security room that has all the residents' bank books and seals in it. For the residents, I'm sure it's peace of mind to know they're kept under lock and key. Mm. But if they have that stuff on hand, it's super easy to get at that money. And if someone dies, it frees up room for the next sucker. Every time a patient dies, they increase profits. What? What the hell? I recognize those two. Those guys are from the security company. How do you know them? They're both Yakuza from the family that runs this place. The Yakuza? Mm -hmm. And that means the Suryu clan. Yep. They're from the Ryotu family, one of the families serving the Suryu clan. I remember because they used to come by and harass my girls all the time. But about four years ago, they left their hands into another business and another family took over my place. I've heard of Yakuza running a security company at the front before, but I've never heard of them actually being on site themselves. Mm. Wait. What if Stone Lake Castle itself is the Security Clan's business? In, in that case, it would make perfect sense for them to keep scanning pensions. Hey. <laughs> okay, say they're doing this whole scheme thing. Wouldn't that mean Nanaha's dad is long dead? <sighs> no. Nanaha-san's dad is still alive. How do you know? Remember what Nanaha said when she gave the guy 2 million yen? You mean when we were eavesdropping on her on the phone? Yeah. Yeah, the guy who took the money said something along the lines of... Three million left to go then. If you just remit that amount, ten days from now, we can start to carry out the procedure. Piecing that together, I think that means there's three million yen left, and that she has ten days before they carry out this procedure or whatever. Oh. Wait, that would mean if she doesn't pay the three million in ten days, they'll execute her father. For real? Yeah, they're probably saying if she doesn't want him to die, then she needs to pay up. I see. So her dad's a hostage. But she's got to be able to take this to the cops. You think? The place is a Yakuza front. They probably already got terms with the police. It's pay up or he dies. And even if he dies, the police are just going to look the other way. <laughs> and then they'll bleed his pension payments dry. It's unthinkable. Damn. Damn. Hold on. Hey, hold on. How many days ago did you hear this conversation? Oh, shit. Ten. Adachi-san. Hunch is right. He's gonna be killed tomorrow. Three mil? No way Nanaha could scrape it together in the state she's in. I clean my glasses a little bit. Ah. I would lend it to her if I could. That's not the kind of money I have just lying around. Even if you did pay, these are Yakuza. They could double cross you in a heartbeat. <coughs> well, it's down to the wire then. We have to save him, no matter what it takes. Uh huh. Her dad's probably in the excellent room. Let's do it. I'm sorry you got dragged into something so much bigger than I hired you for. But, all the same, please. You're the only ones who can help. I beg of you. 
<laughs> it's cool, boss. But when everyone's safe, I'll be expecting a full house bonus. Sure. Okay, you got it. What's a full house bonus? Is it big? It's an old soap plan custom. If they fill the house, everybody gets a bonus. And if everyone gets a bonus, everyone from the ladies of staff goes home happy. How big is it usually? Well, the going rate was about 3,000 yen. What? 3,000? We gotta risk our lives for 3,000? I'll have it stuffed and ready for when you get back, so you better come back alive. <coughs> it's like, I think yen, like 10, 10 yen is a dollar, I think, about. So, a 300 bucks? Man, tomorrow's gonna be a mess. Let's get some rest. Hey. Hey, you wanna make a quick side trip on the way? Mm. Where? The place I used to frequent in the bar district. You can drink and sing karaoke there. Tomorrow's gonna be so messy, why not throw one back and get ready the proper way? Who's buying, though? <laughs> I told you, I go there a lot. I'm sure I can just get it added to my tab. Come on, just one drink. <sighs> Alright, then. But don't you get wasted on us. I know, I know. Let's head to the karaoke bar. Adachi frequents in the bar district. From whips and canes, we've got it all. Come to Love Magic for your adult weapon needs. <laughs> whips and canes, huh? Sounds painful. Might be worth swinging by. I go there a lot. I'm a frequent, frequent buyer there. I was actually planning on stopping by right now. Welcome. So you already have that equipped. I think I want to go with... I don't need the high cut shoes or the toy bracelet. But the half helmet and the jacket might be nice. Let's get the jacket. And one half helmet. Um, I guess put it on him. Thank you much. <laughs> Alright, so we're we going to this bar. Oh, it's a bar up here. Ah, damn, that's far. I guess we should rock and then just fight these along the way. Just in case, you know. Nanda. Okay. Right to the kidneys, man. Alright, so I kind of want to run up this way and fight some stronger dudes. Ooh, what are you? Cheap plastic? I'll take it. Hmm? Nothing. Hmm? Ten yen? Ten yen. Hmm? Five hundred yen. Hmm? 
Assuming the iron, that's all used in like the equipment stuff. Stats going up. So I don't know here to search. Hmm? Hmm? Mm, no point going this way. Hmm? Just racking up the cash, man. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're close. Are you close? Oh, you're right here. Can I say? Welcome, welcome. High-end kimchi might be good to have. Buy five of those. Arigato. That's good. I don't know how to say thank you. Thank you, Zara Gato, but honestly, you're welcome, should I say. Is this going to be like this guy's favorite bar? He's the one we helped out? Oh, shit, it's over here. Or not, it's probably up top. Oh, well. Um, survive bar. Jazz and the Yoki. This the place you're a regular at? Yep. Oh, my thing is not here yet. <coughs> it's just getting close. Huh. It's just you. <laughs> yeah, such great customer service, huh? No wonder this place is always empty. This place? I only run it for fun. Kind of prefer it empty, in fact. <laughs> Bullshit. Hey there, Daki-san. Hey, Iroha-chan. Who are your friends? Some guests of mine. Kasuga and Namba. Hey. You never bring anyone with you. In fact, is this a first? Uh, <laughs> I guess it is, now that you mention it. That must mean you actually like them, huh? Hell no. You wouldn't catch me hanging with these knuckleheads unless I had to. <laughs> <laughs> you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Uh, <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, listen. I've got a request. Hang on. Let me guess. You want me to add their drinks on your tab? <laughs> oh, you know me so well. Ah, uh, you mind though? But I promise I'll make them come back as paying customers. Oh, good grief. You really an ex-cop? <sighs> you win this time. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, let's get to drinking. 
Karaoke bar survived has become the new hangout spot for Kostika and his party. All right, cool. Got a new spot. Namba's asleep already. Hey, what's up with Namba? We barely get started and he passes out? He's probably just tired. Can't blame him after everything we did today. Well, tomorrow's only gonna be worse. But you know, for some reason, being around you makes it feel like it'll work itself out. Oh yeah? You must be pretty wasted if you're handing out compliments. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'm barely even feeling a buzz. Oh, he's drunk all right. Drunk on the rush of a hot and steamy friendship. <laughs> Iroha-chan. That was two feet over the line, and you know it. Don't poke an old bear, huh? I thought your son likes this? Huh, it feels kind of nice. Where's the karaoke at? Let me hit that shit up. Mm -hmm. Come on, Katsuga. You drunk already? I can keep going if you can. Listen. Says you. Your tab doesn't act to look like I can keep going. Come on, don't be a narc. Should I throw some back with the dachi? Dining and fighting alongside your companions will feed your bond gauge with them. Once it's full enough, talk to said companion to survive to trigger their special side stories called drink links. Listening to your companion's troubles and lending them a helping hand can greatly strengthen your bond with them. As your relationship grows and your bond level increases, so does the number of jobs and skills available with your companion. This, in turn, will improve their abilities and give you a huge advantage in battle. Take some time to get to know your companions, feel those bond gauges, and see what surprises each drink link has in store. Yo, adachi san What's that you're drinking? <laughs> hey, keep it down, will ya? Why? Oh, is that convenience store sake? Shh, you don't have to announce it to everyone and their mother. You brought your own drink to a bar? Hell yeah. It cost an arm and a leg to get a good buzz going here. That's why I got this little lovely at a store down the street. <laughs> you ought to do the same. Show your wallet some. Tender love and care. Nah, I just order a drink from the bar, even if it meant going into debt. You'd go into debt just for a drink? Hey, it's not just a drink. It's an experience. It's a chance to indulge and just let it all out, you know? Hell, you never know when a drink might change your life. It might lead you to your soulmate. And I say, the guy behind the bar who's helping provide the space for that? That guy deserves some fat stacks. Well, you sure are a nice guy, Kasuga. Well, maybe I should take your advice. Actually, no. Nah. If I go into debt, I won't pass my background check. <laughs> hey, here's a solution. I'll buy you a drink. Hey, thanks. Speaking of money, what they did to you was fucked up, man. Discharge right before your retirement? Ah, it ain't so bad. At least I get to know I was canned for sticking it to fucking Horonouchi. My opinion? That's better than just staying on the force and turning a blind eye. Let me see if I remember this correctly. You and Horinouchi first crossed paths during a case 20 years ago. Yeah, and it was a nasty one. Robbery, a double homicide of some sweet old couple. My team found a suspect and made an arrest. Man by the name of Kasumi. He had a mile-long rap sheet. Burglaries and shit. Plus, he had no alibi for the time of the murder. But in the end, he was innocent. Yeah. I finally figured that out from his son. His son? Kasumi had a wife and kid. The kid was five years old at the time. His name was Takashi. Little guy told us he'd been on a walk with his dad at the time the homicides were committed. Of course, there's always a chance that the relatives will lie in the hope of saving their family. So HQ was prepared to ignore Takashi's testimony. I was too at first. But the more time that passed, my thoughts kept coming back around to what the little boy said. And even after Kusumi was arrested, I kept looking into it. I finally found the owner of a cigarette shop. 
told me he saw Kasumi walking with Takashi at the time of the crime. Takashi's testimony was legit all along. I contacted HQ right away and requested Kasumi's release. But Horu no Uchi made sure it never happened. And he was able to do that because he was top dog at the Kanagawa police back then, right? Yeah. And don't forget, he'd just been offered a job with the Tokyo police, so... He was desperate to cover up any recent blunders like a wrongful arrest. He shipped poor Kasumi off to prison, knowing full well the man was innocent. Next thing I know, Kasumi's killed himself in his cell. So Hori no Uchi was willing to sacrifice people's lives just to advance his own career. Yeah, I'm starting to understand why you got so much beef with him. Uh, I got beef with myself, too. I'm partly responsible for what happened. If only I'd believed Takashi's testimony from the start, the arrest wouldn't have happened in the first place. You don't know that for sure. No one else believed the testimony either. Yeah, but I'm the one who interviewed the kid. Let me tell you, even after all this time, I still can't forget his face. Man, but couldn't you have just leaked the fact the charges were false? You know, to the news? I gotta assume that'd be your way of atoning for Takashi-kun, right? <laughs> You're not as dumb as you look, Kasuga. That's exactly what I thought at the time. But I screwed it up. Didn't choose the right people to leak to, so... I got swept off to the license center faster than the leak got swept under the rug. Worst fuck-up of my life. Don't be so hard on yourself, Adachi-san. Sorry. Really killed the mood, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. A true friend doesn't care how many moods you kill. <laughs> You know, for an ex-Yakuza, you can say some cheesy shit, but it's sweet. What do you mean by that? Yakuza's all about brotherhood. Well, all I know is if I'd had a brother like you on the force with me, my life might have turned out different. Ah, but if the cops were anything like me, this whole country would be fucked sideways by now. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you weren't supposed to agree with that. <laughs> Anyway, let's have another drink. On you, if you don't mind. Fine. Hey, bartender, can we get another round? Our bomb went up a whole level. Let's give those bombs to Dachi Kushner. Dachi would gain more experience when he's not in the active party. Okay, so people that aren't in your party, people that aren't in your party can get stuff now. Well. About that cool. time, I guess. Aw, leaving already? Oh, sorry, Hiroha-chan. We got a big day tomorrow. Yo, Namba. You gonna crash on the bar or you wanna head back? <laughs> I like the vibe of this place, though. Me coming back is another thing you can count on. Sure, make yourself at home. <laughs> Nobody else does. And listen, take care of him. Sorry? Let's just say he's not usually a happy drunk. <laughs> I guess that means he has a soft spot for you guys. Oh, really? Oh yeah, I know the guy. He's a good for nothing, but he's good at heart too. So keep your friends close, you hear? I can do that. Hey, Kasuga! What's the hold up? Let's go! Oh, sorry! Well, see you later. Thanks for stopping by. Well, let's roll. Let's head to Sunlight Castle. Joining at certain restaurants around Yokohama with your friends and ordering certain combinations of menu items will allow you to see what's called table talk unfold. The bond between you and your participating party members will deepen. So be sure to try everything on the menu when you walk into a new restaurant with them. Interacting with a party member will fill block gauge, blah blah, we did that already. I need like a quick. Okay, that one's not gonna do it. 
Sure, why not? What? Ooh, what is this guy? What's he got in front of him? A shogi board? Is he playing shogi outdoors? Huh. Maybe I should challenge him some. Huh, we can play a game of shogi? Shogi, huh? Maybe I should play it for a bit. Three ways to play shogi. Played following basic rules, played in a special type board. Um let's play ranked. Sure, let's see what this is all about. Take back, confirm, super take back. Go easy on me, huh? <laughs> Moving pieces. Different each piece. Each piece can move. Explain in the coming pages. Promotion. First three rows are promotion zone. These, once certain pieces reach that zone, they will promote it and take the move. And, oh, Pawns, <coughs> promoted pawns, optional promotion to the enemy's third row, option, automatic promotion to the enemy's back row, can move in all directions except back diagonals, can move one left or right, Oh, okay. This is like chess, but like worse.
I'm so I'm done. I don't I don't understand the rules for that. I have to relearn how to play chess with all those pieces. So we'll do it. We'll learn another day. So I'm not hmm? finding anything at these places. Yeah, shit is this? I should go watch a movie real quick. Who's hungry? Me. Mm. Mm. Tasty. You are bond with us. Thank you. Oh, 
thousand cash. Bond went up. So now we're getting bond points too. There's a movie theater. So maybe I should go up here and fight these guys? Because I haven't explored part of this map yet. This part of the map yet? Okay. You're in it now. Don't get cocky. Have fun with this. Let's go. Cool. Won't give us hell. for now. Can I go down here? Oh, I can go down here. Oh, it's just a... You guys want to fight? Alright. <coughs> You're all level 10 bitches, though. Crosswalk, motherfucker! Stop hitting him. This guy looks new. Color gangsman. Yeah, I got this. karaoke bar. I hate the way the camera moves in this game. It makes it like really hard to see stuff sometimes. Should I open it? Yes, open it. Got it. Safety shoes that I don't need. Should I open it? Sweet! A soft hat that I probably don't need. I'll give it to him. Namba is the magic master. Z. I figured there would be something around here. I 
this, yeah, I think this is it. This isn't break time. On to the next bathroom. You're even slower than yesterday. I'm going. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hey, watch where you're going, janitor. That's the security card. Hello, Director. The woman's father. His name's Tatsuro Mokoda, correct? Understood. I'll carry it out immediately. Yes. Don't worry. Yes, he's out like a light. General anesthesia. <coughs> Here we go. You know, most people hope and pray that they'll die in their sleep. You're one of the lucky ones who actually gets to do it. Stop! Who are you? How did you get in here? Koda. This is Nanoha's dad for sure. Sir, wake up. Let's get you out of here. any time what are you doing here contractors aren't allowed explain yourselves now hey calm down can't you recognize your own uniform give me a break you're not one of us no we aren't because you're not nursing home guards not with that kind of weaponry I bet you got a lot of ink underneath those uniforms since you're from the Seiryu clan. Huh. So, you did your homework. We know everything, man. Even what the Seiryu clan has been doing in this room. Oh, good. That makes our decision easy. We'll have to kill you and the patient! Security guards.
grab her dad and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Hey, what was that drug you were about to inject him with? It was potassium chloride. Holy fucking shit. Oh, it's empty. He did it. Do you know what it does? They use it overseas for executions. The doctor was trying to kill her dad? Now that must have been how they killed the old woman. We got to him just in time. They didn't. The plunger was down. Guys, we ain't out of the woods yet. <coughs> That's the guy from the cafe. Who is he? We're about to have our chance to ask him. He's coming this way. You all just made the biggest mistake of your lives. I hope you know that. Who are you? The director of this facility. And don't play dumb. I know what else you know. You mean how you're with the Seiryu clan? Yes. I'm Totsuka, from the Ryuto family. The Seiryu clan held its own against the Yomi takeover. That made me think you guys must be pretty hardcore. And yet here you are, murdering old people for money. Where's the Yakuza's honor in you? The Seiryu clan is doing what must be done, for the good of society. You have no idea what burden we've taken on. Killing our elders for society's good? Go fuck yourself! You better let all the residents here go free right now! Or I'll tell the whole world what you're really doing here! You're welcome to try. But that would require you to walk out of here alive. And killing you is no inconvenience to me. I've got enough chemicals to melt down all your bodies. Oh, it's gonna melt down our bodies. Boss fight. Not a loser. Yeah. It's only an eleven. Don't get caught. Come on, let's go. Sucks on this dude. Okay. Uh, okay. <coughs> cool. Yeah. 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 Don't make me say it again! Let all the residents go! I'm afraid I just can't do that. Then we'll do it. We'll move them all out. Uh, 
They're locked out now. Shit. It won't open. I activated the emergency lockdown. That door won't open until this time tomorrow. What? You've lost. So stop fighting me. And maybe, just maybe, I won't call the police. I won't explain to them how our home for nice, well-to-do elderly people is being robbed by three thugs. What kind of Yakuza calls the cops? You're a stain on your family. Call me what you want, but if I call the cops, you're done. I suggest you give up and get out. Maybe instead, I'll rat you out. Oh, yeah? Uh, Ichiban? Rat him out to who? The Seiryu chairman. We just need to pay him a visit at their HQ. We'll go tomorrow, bright and early, and get the chairman to fix all of this. Don't you fucking dare! This is my business, not the chairman's! If you breathe a word, I'll kill you! So you're that scared of the chairman, huh? So? So you're coming with me, you spineless worm. Huh? Yeah, you're gonna take me there yourself. Because if you refuse to come along, I'm gonna tell the big scary chairman everything you did. And maybe some things you didn't, too. <sighs> I mean, look at yourself. Doing business like this in the Damn, name of the Seiryu clan. fucking badass. As a Yakuza, you accept consequences for your actions. <laughs> so, does this mean we have to go? Yes. Hell of a gate. This place says that Yakuza HQ feeling down. Can't hurt to be cautious. Listen. Let's make sure we're really good to go then. Got it. Okay. Hey, we right here. Tatsuka, I told you what'll happen if you try to run, right? I know. I can't have you saying whatever you please to the chairman. After all. We don't know what might be waiting for us in there. Make sure we're ready for busting. Because if there's anything we use as weapons lying around, or stop by somewhere that sells medicine. I think we're okay. We're pretty good, pretty set on everything. I mean, we're right next to the love magic. I can go to love magic real quick. Well, so I don't need to buy. I don't think I need to buy anything new, right? That's all. A half helmet would do him good. I think we're pretty set on everything. Oh, what's that up there? Some blue talkie talks. That's the old guy who's friends with that Shota kid. Wasn't he saying he was going to get a present for him? Hey. Yo, you find a present for the kid? Cool. Oh, hey there. About that. Any idea what kids like these days? Try as I might, I just couldn't think of anything Shota kun would like. Figured maybe you'd know more about that. You ever ask him about what he likes and stuff? Well, I do see him reading books a lot, but he's kind of reserved on that front. 
Doesn't exactly tell me the sorts of things. Sure. Uh. Hmm. What to do? Anything come to mind, Kasuga-san? <sighs> what if you built the kid a bookshelf? He reads a lot, so that could be cool, right? You really think a kid of today would want a bookshelf? No. I think what's more important is that you put thought into it. Hmm. Well, that's fair. So and that. a bookshelf shouldn't be too hard to make. Alright, let's go with that. Cool. A bookshelf it is. Well, good luck with that. Oh, no. Um, well, Kasugo-san, I know it's a bit selfish of me to ask, but... You think you can help me out with building this bookshelf? Even just gathering the materials? I've never done something like this before. Sure thing. Alright, sure. I'm the one who suggested it. Might as well help out. Arigato, no. Oh, man. Thank you, Kasugo-san. I'll get the tools if I can leave the wooden nails to you. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I'll meet you back over here. We first met once I'm done. Okay, sounds good. South Sakura River Street. I'm counting you, Kasuga san. Okay. Alright, wooden nails. Where would I find those? Okay, I have wooden nails, don't I? I have a wood block, sturdy lumber. I have two nails. I guess let's just go over there and see. Hmm? Oh, I go to the pawn shop. The pawn shop should have some, right? waiting for to get more party members man see you. I'm here to buy. You don't have nails. Thanks. I'm good. I, mean, I guess I can come down here and see what's up. Hungry, hungry, homeless. Okay. Get a lie. Bomba attacks. I mean, so I'm getting a bunch of stuff. We should get throw them into the river, that'd be awesome. Materials from you. CD. Shop. Taksan got the girl. He only has that. He doesn't have anything else. Alright, well. I, mean, I met him right here, so I must not have achieved that yet. Find some wooden nails. I mean, like. Oh, way up there? Okay. Ah, 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Easy every time. Oh, I really thought that guy was gonna hit me for a second. The wooden nails are up here. This is weird, but okay. Ha! <coughs> Ooh. You'll never get stronger with a stance like that. I'll show you how it's done. Hold out a board and get ready. Hi. Hmm? They're practicing karate, huh? Do I need wood for something? Oh uh, yeah! Ha! Oh yeah, Junai-san asked me to get some wood for the bookshelf he's building. Maybe they'll let me have some of those boards. What's up? Hey, you think I could have a few of those boards? I'm trying to build the bookshelf. Well, we're using these for our training, actually. If you feel you can provide an adequate substitute, that would be agreeable. <laughs> ha! Alright. I'll make a better opponent than those boards. Good to hear. Just know we won't be holding back. Let the battle begin. I'm not a loser. <laughs> Just like that. What do you think? I think we lost to an amateur. Listen up. We're going back to the basics. First, we're going on a run. Yes, Sensei. Yo. Wait. Can I have some boards, right? Take however many you want. All right. Got the wood. Now to find some nails. All right. Let's find some nails. Way back down there? Fuck me, man. I'm fucking taking a taxi. Where, where's my taxi at? I'm taking a taxi for the first time. Eleven hundred yen. Time, whatever. Whatever. I want to finish this sub story before we end today. So that's. All we got, man. Plant stamina spark. Punching a dude square in the spine on the ground, I'm assuming he's probably not gonna get up either. A berserker? A berserker? Okay. For some reason, like when I first saw it, I was like, I haven't seen one of those guys. Then he pulled out the sword and the shield, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, definitely seen those.
Oh, yo, a taxi. Oh, what's over here? Is there a safe over here? Doesn't look like it. Mm -hmm. Trash. Half empty trash. What are you doing? What do you want from me? Come on. We just need a teeny bit of money for our allowance. Oh, he's got a bat with nails in it. Jenna's son asked me to get some nails. Those will work. Those won't work. The hell? What are you looking at, old man? You got something to say? No. No, I got nothing. Just see it see to take some of those nails off your hands. Huh? huh? The fuck are you talking about? Come on, guys, let's kill this clown. Typical street thugs. Let's go. Get serious. Street thug. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. Ooh, I'll throw this level up there. That's good. Good shit, man. Shit. Hey. So, want to try that again? No thanks. We've had enough. <coughs> We're sorry. Thanks so much for saving me with that. How could I ever repay you? Don't worry about it. This is all I need. <sighs> Alright, got the nails. That random guy's just like, They saved me! I want to repay you! And Kasika's like, Nah, I'm good. I mean, I have wooden nails already. I don't know why I mean to get more wooden nails. One more fight. Then the end of our sub story. And then we'll call it an evening. Nanda. Okay. I really don't want to fight you guys. Talk. Here, the wooden nails you asked for. We're gonna have to pull the nails out, though. What do you mean, pull them out? <clears throat> huh? You got wooden nails like that? Well, you said you didn't have any money, so. Ha <laughs> 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 ha I see. So, this is what it means to put thought into something. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, nothing. You just really thought outside the box, is all. Uh, it's no big deal. 
Anyway, let's build that bookshelf. Grunt, 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 grunt. Hold on! Hey, don't put too much force into it. <laughs> ah, the board split. No sweat, there's plenty of them. Kitty cat, all the kitty cats. Meow, 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 meow. It's all fucked up. It's done. I'd say we got ourselves a bookshelf. Well, that's the hard part done. Now I gotta do is give it to him. Hmm. You don't think he'd be happy with a bookshelf made by an old bum like me? He might just throw it out in the end. Look, you've come this far. Why get cold feet now? Wearing's not gonna change anything. <laughs> there he is. Shotokun. What's wrong, mister? Are you okay? He's no name. Who are you? Yeah. My name's Kasuga, but don't worry about me. The old man's got something to tell you. Huh? huh? Me? Hmm. I heard it was your birthday, so I built a bookshelf for you. You told me you like books, remember? I hope you like it. Thank you. You remember that I like to read. This is incredible. I'll cherish it forever. There you go. Good bookshelf. <laughs> really? Well, if you're happy, then I'd say it was worth the effort. Kasuga-san, thanks for helping me out. I just wish I had a way to pay you back. <laughs> you don't have to do that. In fact, I'm in a pretty good mood, so why don't we go get some grub? Huh? But, you sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Let's see. How's Izazaki Road sound? <sighs> Sounds good to me. I'll go get ready. Why don't you go on ahead? Yeah, sure thing. <coughs> Ooh, the man in the suit's watching me. Where's Izazaki Road? Oh, back over here. Hmm? Nothing. How lame. I agree, how lame. Bullshit. He needs a bike. He really does need a bike. You're my way, man, battle bum. Yo, one hit kill on both of them. right up here. Hmm? Oh. Huh? Hey, wait. This is the bookshelf we gave Shotokun. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting, Kasuga-san. Hmm, that's... Oh. Oh. Ah. This is the bookshelf we made. Damn, how sad. Mm. Well, I had a feeling this might happen. I'm just an old bum after all. Yo, enough of all that. It's not like you gave him a crap gift. Yeah. The bookshelf's not the problem here. Those homeless folk aren't exactly accepted by the rest of society. To them, we're just smelly, good, dirty for nothing, capable of lashing out or doing something crazy at a moment's notice. Hey, that's not... Mm. A bookshelf from someone like me belongs in the trash. 
Sorry, Kasuga-san. I think I lost my appetite. We'll eat together some other time. Ugh. <sighs> Janai-san seemed pretty down. I should probably go check on him. Where'd he go? All the way back? Come on. I want this. No? You can't check this? Alright, um, whatever. I'm out of time, but mm -hmm. I really do want to finish this episode mm -hmm. if I can. So I'm hoping that this will be the last one. Motherfucker had me running all right over town. <laughs> Johnny Son was pretty beat up about the bookshelf. Hope he's alright. Hey, there he is. Sup? Hey, buddy. Cheer up. I know it's hard and all. Ugh. Oh, Kasuga-san. Mister! Shotokun. <coughs> oh, no. Hey! You at the fro, give me back my bookshelf. Huh? Huh? Give it back. Didn't you throw it away? Well, actually, it wasn't me. It was Mother. Shota. What are you doing? Dad. What's gotten into you? running out of the house like that. To think you come all this way for this hunk of junk. It's not junk. It's my bookshelf. Sorry about that. That was just a little something I gave to Shotokun. I knew it. I thought I saw Shota talking to some bum. Well, he's not going to accept charity from some washed up burnouts like you. Now, let's go, Shota. Me and you and me are going to have a serious talk when we get home. Oh. Okay. Wait, this is all my fault. Please don't blame Shotokun. Can it? You have no right to tell me how to raise my kid. You stay away from me and my son, you hear me? Hey. Hey, give the guy a break. He just thought it'd be nice to... And who are you? One of his bum's grimy little friends? I swear you're like cockroaches. Just hear me out. We just wanted to make Shota happy. Dumbed. As if I'd believe you. You're probably just roping my son into your latest scam. It's not like that at all. Don't bother trying to explain. I don't want to resort to violence, but this is to protect Shota. I'll make sure you and your friend never come near my son again. <sighs> Great. Really past talking already? Have it your way then. You're going down. Huh? Okay. That's probably not gonna help. <laughs> Five thousand cash. <laughs> oh shit! What's this all about, huh? What's this I just all about? Huh? Oh. I just want to protect Shota. You mellowed out yet? That old man gave the kid that bookshelf because he knew it was his birthday. He was just trying to do something nice for him. His, his birthday? You mean you forgot your own kid's birthday? And you were trying to blame the old man? Damn, the fucking savage. No, it's not that. Dad's been working really hard ever since Mom passed away. I can't blame him for forgetting. No. No matter the reason, a parent who forgets their child's birthday has failed at being a parent. Dad... Since the day we said goodbye to your mother, I've done everything I can to Damn. make sure I could provide for you. It was all for you. But maybe that was a mistake. You know, I get the feeling we're pretty similar, you and I. Huh? I also had a family before I ended up out on the street. I had a son just like Shotokun, as a matter of fact. I grew up in a poor household as a kid. So I worked from morning till night to make sure my kids wouldn't have to go through the same thing. 
never once thought of how it might affect them. In the end, my family gave up on me. And here I am. I'd lost sight of what was really important. Damn. Failure's a natural part of life. Some failures you can take back, and some you can't. And that's where we differ, you see. I'd say you still have a chance, don't you think? A chance? Are you sure about that bookshelf? Well, what's wrong? If I'm buying you books, you're gonna need a bookshelf, right? Now that I look at it, it's not a bad bookshelf. Dad! <laughs> Sacrifice stone? This is for your troubles. Please, take it. Sorry about earlier. I think I'll take that chance you mentioned. <laughs> Pick out some good books for him, all right? Of course. Thanks, you two. I'll treasure this bookshelf for the rest of my life. Ah, sounds good. Get along with your dad now. I will. See you later. I'm glad it all worked out. Yeah. And you said nobody would be happy with a present from someone like you. But you're dead wrong. Your gift wasn't dirty or grimy. You made that bookshelf with love. That's the best kind of present anyone could ever ask for. <laughs> Yo, that's done. Let's check out this item that I got. I think it's a is it gear? We have a health ring which puts Oh shit. Okay, that's not not bad. So what does he have? He has binding in this one. So let's get this health ring over here. And then let's do, let's get him the luxurious belt and the, oh, that's fine. And the flame amulet, I guess. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and save. And that'll be it, unfortunately. Um, we will be back later tonight. Um... But thanks for oh, I don't know how long it's been since I've been invisible, but um, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you later. Bye.